sometimes just a smile would make your day. And instead of that, you get a rejection. <laughs> Hello friends and welcome back to Red X, your source for the freshest daily cringe content anywhere on the internet. Promise, swearsies, it's just a fact and it's totally science. Go ahead and look it up if you please. <laughs> Today we're diving into r slash nice guys. My god, I couldn't decide between nice guys and nice girls, so I flipped a coin, quite literally, and guess what? Nice guys came up. It it's a good thing, too, because it's a lot harder to find decent nice girl posts. We could have done nice guys versus nice girls again, but I'm saving that for a little bit further down the road. This is a, a bit more of a return to form, and um, in this episode we feature a lot of exchanges between the nice guys S some longer posts i think it's only three posts that i have pulled up here but uh judging by the episode length which you can i can't <laughs> it should be a pretty beefy one with some uh quite heated and extensive exchanges so i guess we'll just have to see how it goes let's go ahead we'll get some plugs and disclaimers out of the way and then we will dive right into some of this r slash nice guys uh cringe Also, it says in my contract, I gotta mention that we're live streaming this on Twitch. If you haven't checked us out over there, please do. Uh, maybe also Teespring, stuff like that. It's a bunch of stuff I couldn't fit on the plugs and disclaimers page. Because I haven't edited it quite yet. Edited it. <laughs> I'm having such a hard time with that. Okay, here we go. Uh, women of Reddit. <laughs> What things do men do that frighten you w without them even realizing it? This is definitely posted by a creep, bro. He creeped out a few women and he's like, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Let's make a Reddit thread about it. Okay, let's see how it goes. <laughs> when they emphasize that I don't need to be frightened of them, completely unprompted. No easier way of getting me to be on my guard. And that's well advised, honestly. A nice person doesn't have to tell you that they're nice. It, it becomes pretty obvious just by hanging out with them. So yes, I like this answer. However, this random poster, I, I don't think he's the OP, has a problem with that statement, I guess. And decides to start an argument in the Reddit comments. You know, nothing gets somebody to change their mind faster. This is how we sway opinions. <laughs> <laughs> but sometimes men are sad <laughs> because we want to know some girl with some pretty face and just for the simple fact of looking at her you're gonna get rejected by her looking down this guy's English is like a little broken isn't it <laughs> I mean I'm not gonna hold that against him but it's really weird to come in here and talk about, like, the pretty face first. You can't talk in generalities about, like, all women. You only want the women with the pretty face. <laughs> I'd look down on you, too, honestly. And furthermore, we get bald sometimes, and you're rejected even more than before. So bad, so mad, so bald, so mauled. <laughs> EMOTIONAL DAMAGE! Uh, it's just like a complete non sequitur. He's like, yeah, also, I'm bald! What's going on there? Uh, I don't know, bro. Get some hair transplant therapy or something like that? Jesus Christ! <laughs> uh, why are you making it this person's problem? I suppose it's just the way the world works. It just goes like that. You have to learn to live with your feelings damaged. Uh, men cry as well. I mean, men cry, and, and that's fine. I've been known to do a bit of crying myself, but you're crying for all the wrong reasons. You're out here being a creep and crying because they won't let you continue to be a creep. And also because bald. 
if you had a bit more self-confidence, you know, show off your self-worth, then it might not matter so much that you're bald. Maybe you wouldn't get rejected by a woman with a pretty face, since that's all of your criteria, it seems. And I love the response from the original poster of that comment. They're just like, what? <laughs> Uh, that's my response too. Like I said, this guy came in with like a string of non sequiturs. I don't even know how this relates to the original post, really. Uh, I claim that girls sometimes are so, so, so insensitive. Sometimes just a smile would make your day. And instead of that, you get a rejection. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you crying? Uh, all I want is a, a smile from the girl with a pretty face. Stop rejecting me! This is that, that fucking creep. We've all seen this guy walking around telling women they need to smile more. <laughs> Stop it, bro. Give them a reason to smile. How about that? <laughs> you can't just expect it because you exist uh, that they have to smile at you. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Women don't owe you a smile. <laughs> That's precisely my point. Do you get offended when men don't share a smile with you? Read this thread and see how many women end up in dangerous situations because a man interpreted something like a smile or a thank you as an invitation. God, I've said it a million times. I'll probably never stop saying it. It's gotta be so hard to be a woman, bro. This is some heavy shit right here. Like, sure, on the surface, it's like just a creep being a creep and, and being kind of cringy. But yeah, it can lead to some horrible stuff. As a lady, uh, you are, you know, fairly vulnerable. Gotta keep your head on a swivel. It's not really something that I have to worry about that often, being a six-foot-tall dude. So forgive my frame of reference when I say, you know, you should brush this creep off or whatever. Like, it, it probably is a really difficult thing to make happen safely. Ugh, and this dude defend himself said, uh, I do, and I have already done. Anyway, that's not my point. <laughs> uh, yeah, you, you've completely missed the point. I didn't know you were making a point. Honestly, you missed the point of the thread. You tried to make your own point, which is adorable, but it's not. It's not working out the way you think it's working out. I was just thinking about a better world without rapers and without feelings rapers. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Uh, he's trying to equate sexual assault with, like, not being smiled at. <laughs> uh, you've, you've raped my feelings by not smiling at me. Bro, you... <laughs> you're so far off the trail. You are in completely in the weeds. <laughs> Uh, 100% lost in the woods. This is so fucking funny. Okay. <laughs> Do you mean rapists? <laughs> uh, are you really comparing not being smiled at to being sexually assaulted? <laughs> uh, uh, that's exactly how I interpreted it. And, and I'm pretty sure that's exactly what he's doing. <laughs> it would be hilarious if it weren't so fucking worrying. Oh my god. I in some a certain way, they are the same. <laughs> uh, are you sure about that? <laughs> Both of these terrible acts come from a terrible absence of empathy to the other one. Both of them cause pain. <laughs> uh, you are cheapening the word so much. Like, oh no, you hurt my feelings versus like you have literally assaulted me. Oh my God, bro. Stop. Stop. 
both of them are dishonest ways of behaving. <laughs> uh, of course, being raped is much worse, but both of them in the very beginning are just some person thinking like, I don't care about you. <laughs> uh, well, it, it seems that I've assaulted him simply with this post because yes, my feelings toward this dude are like, I, I don't care about you. <laughs> I do hope that you, uh, find the plot again, take a good, long, hard look in the mirror, and realize exactly what it is you're, you're doing wrong in your interactions with other people. <laughs> but I don't think that's going to happen. Oh my god, dude. It's indefensible! <laughs> uh, so, why should a random woman care about you? I genuinely hope you're never sexually assaulted, so you don't have to feel that fear and pain that you are diminishing. Yes, I, <laughs> I've never seen a single act diminish it so much. You hurt my feelings. It's the same thing. It's really not, bro. It is really not. Maybe this was all just misinterpretation. Maybe he meant to say rappers. <laughs> Did he just miss putting a P in there? He's like, yeah. <laughs> We're all rappers around here, right? I don't know if a mirror is going to be enough to give him the, the self-reflection that he needs. I don't know if he's physically capable of the self-reflection that he needs. I'm not gonna go out there and, and say that I'm in favor of lobotomizing people, but, you know, if it happened... <laughs> I, I wouldn't be uh, entirely against it either. Not gonna advocate it, but if it happens, uh, uh, I'll sign off on that. This guy will end up forever alone, and it's what he deserves, honestly. <laughs> He's, he wants so bad to have a connection with another human being, but he, he simply can't see the other human beings as other human beings, right? They're just smile machines to make me feel better about myself. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here, dude. You, you, you're so far gone, as has been well established. This is a wild take to open up with. I don't know what we're doing here, but we gotta move on. Would I be the asshole if I confront my crush about her lack of effort compared to my interesting messages? <laughs> uh... Oh boy, just the title. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say, yes, <laughs> you're definitely the asshole here. Uh, I don't understand how somebody can, can inflate their ego to this point without physically exploding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a real intellectual. Okay, bro. Cool. Awesome. Please, please detail that for me. I need a good laugh. <laughs> uh, I was texting my crush about psych. She said she's unsure about getting into a PhD program. She's mentioned it's interesting hearing people's experiences. <laughs> the rest of the conversation. And you know all of this is 100% verbatim because he's just got such a big brain <laughs> that he memorizes everything that he hears. I'm kind of like this. We're kind of looping back into r slash I am very smart, uh, which we did yesterday. So, sweet. <laughs> Amazing. Let's continue down that rabbit hole. Our nice guy says, Of all the geniuses, I know no one has ever gotten into Stanford. <laughs> so you definitely have it in you, Ames. I have no doubt you'll be able to get into any PhD program you want. Or honestly, anything you want. All you have to do is reach for it. I wholeheartedly believe in you. Yeah, people are afraid of what they do not understand, but they're also attracted to chaos. Or, well, at least I am. <laughs> or what I've noticed. I find a certain allure to the strange, uncommon, irregular. It's more interesting. <laughs> or maybe I'm just messed up. God, this is the 
thirstiest response to anything I've ever read. Y you just reach past the surface and you're like, yeah, you can get into anything you want, including my pants. <laughs> I'm attracted to chaos. You're so chaotic, Ames. Ugh, with a Z. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> that shit hurts. <laughs> Please stop. Trying to make himself seem much cooler than he is already uh, by saying, I know people with Z's in their names. Like, cool, man. Go change your name to, to Blazer or Laser and see how cool you be then. <laughs> and then she says, yeah, thanks for the kind words. I don't know how many people find it alluring, but I do. Seems like kind of a, a, a nice nothing response, agreeing to agree. And OP continues with his tangent. <laughs> Not just kind words. Hee hee. Hee hee. Hee hee. <laughs> words that are true. You are a beautiful, strong, independent, and smart woman. And you don't need no man. <laughs> <laughs> don't let anyone tell you different, unless you think otherwise. <laughs> and then don't let me mansplain how amazing you are. Oof. Oof! You just dropped the mansplaining on yourself? Oh, <laughs> God. Uh, is that supposed to win you points or something like that? You fucking pathetic, dude. Pack it in. Already, you're done. <laughs> Uh, don't let me mansplain how amazing you are. I want to die. Beta Orbiter through and through. <laughs> uh, in my honest opinion, I truly believe humans are attracted to disorder and tragedy and conflict. Bro, your whole life is a tragedy. <laughs> Uh, your existence is disorder. <laughs> what they hate is dealing with the aftermath and consequences of being close or assisting or cleaning up the fallout of disorder. So many people in society love dramas. This is like the, the nice guy of entropy. <laughs> okay, he's like everything's gonna return to dust. Let's you and me just just bring a story for the worms about how we were once together when we were alive. <laughs> what they hate is dealing with the aftermath, the consequences of being close. Yeah, being close to you. <laughs> the, the consequences of getting to know you. I mean, his whole life might be tragedy, but this is comedy gold. <laughs> <laughs> and she says, lol, mansplain. Wow. <laughs> uh, she's trying her best to be so nice about it. Really, you could tell she wants to be like, you're a fucking weirdo. <laughs> uh, but she doesn't come out and say it. She's just like, oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> uh... uh <laughs> I'll try to keep all this in mind. Thank you. Yeah, I, I agree. You've hit the nail on the head. <laughs> uh, she's just going along with whatever he says. And, and he just continues ranting. He can't see the forest for the trees. But he still thinks that he's such an intelligent dude. So in touch that her responses are so boring, when really her responses are only to keep him placated so he doesn't fly off the fucking handle. <laughs> uh, and of course he continues. Yeah, but I guess I'm a bit weird in the sense that I love figuring out the why of the chaos. Just stop. Just stop, bro. <laughs> Uh, nice guy of entropy is too goddamn accurate. Uh, I used to shy away or just slink away from any conflict or drama. Still do quite a lot. 
Well, at least he's being real with himself right there. He didn't have any conflict or drama with this woman because instead he decided to, to slink off to AITA and make a post about it on Reddit. <laughs> you're pathetic. You're a little worm. You're not interesting. You're trying hard to be deep, but really you're about as deep as a fucking puddle on the sidewalk. Just stop. Sometimes I do engage in it just to see why people are how they are. What makes them tick? <laughs> Maybe you apply some of that to yourself. How about... <laughs> Ask yourself why you are like this. Because I, I don't have the answer. Not that I'm really trying to fix you. Because like I said, it's a comedy goldmine. <laughs> I want you to keep going for everyone's entertainment. Like, why is this person an anti-vaxxer? <laughs> what makes them tell me that I'm gonna die from vaccines? Ha 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 ha! Seems like a, a, another non-sequitur, but okay. That's probably the, the one point that me and this guy could ever agree on. Okay, yes, uh, vaccinate your children. <laughs> Does that make me an intellectual big brain boy now? Please, somebody validate me! <laughs> uh, oh, sometimes the researcher in me? Oh no, oh no! We're both researchers? <laughs> or wannabe researchers, I guess. I just roleplay one on the internet, okay? I'm not an actual researcher. I have to remove myself as far from this guy as possible. Once the video's over, I'll go back to researching, but <laughs> for now, I just can't. I just can't! I love the label, but, but not as long as this guy's touching it. It's horrible. <laughs> the researcher in me gets to the point where I poke at the person to create the drama just to see if I can talk them out of being an idiot. <laughs> Testing out treatments for stupidity. <laughs> oh my god, dude. He's such a piece of trash. He's like, yeah, I'm just creating drama so I can cure your stupidity. You can't even cure stupidity for yourself. <laughs> Don't you think that you would have been the first one to have been administered the anti-stupidity vaccine? If there was one. <laughs> uh, oh, God. You're, you're ridiculous. You're so far out there. I is it the same for you, too? <gasps> Why you're attracted to the disorder? Or are there other reasons? Disorder. Yeah, that's what we're gonna call it. <laughs> this dude has a fucking disorder. <laughs> uh, oh, I, I can't anymore. I can't anymore with this dude. She just says, I can relate. I also avoid confrontation. Oh, if you're successful, you're doing a favor for society. So yeah, it's along the same lines for me. <laughs> Again, she's just, she's just going along. <laughs> yeah, totally for me. I, I avoid confrontation too. So you you guys are both just one hundred percent avoiding the obvious topic at hand, which is like I, I don't find you interesting. I don't like being around you, but I also don't want to have a confrontation about it. That's really what all this boils down to, right? I'm pretty sure I'm right about that. And of course, he continues. Heh <laughs> sometimes I put poison in people's ears to start the conflict, XD. <laughs> Do you ever? A human so fascinating, so hypocritical, paradoxical, uh, and downright atrocious. But there's so many more miracles. Yeah, miracles, bro. Fucking magnets. How do they work? <laughs> Uh, I think he hit the nail on the head with downright atrocious. You are a downright atrocious human being, but you try to justify your atrocious actions by saying like, Oh, uh, yeah, 
I'm just doing this for the the entropy, for the research. You you're not a researcher, okay? You're one of those dudes that that goes out there and he's like, ah, I'm doing a social experiment. And then when he almost gets punched in the face for it, he's like, it's just a prank, bro. Yeah, it, it's just a fist in your face, bro. <laughs> this is what you deserve. You're reaping what you sow right now. And she just says, OMG, I haven't, but uh, a few of my friends have done that before, too. <laughs> uh, and he says, hee hee, what was the outcome? She ignored this and never came back. <laughs> uh, can you blame her, though? For over a week now. I mean, she's obviously not interested in what you're saying. She's just parroting the things that you said back to you and being like, yeah, I feel the same way. <laughs> it's like the most gentle kind of brush off. And I guess you'd have to be like, you know, fairly focused on what the other person is feeling in order to determine that from what she's saying, since she does avoid conflict. And yeah, this dude is way too fucking focused on himself to ever see what she's actually <laughs> trying to do or what she's on about. But if you just stop, you think about it for half a second, you, you can tell that she is not interested at all. <laughs> I don't blame her at all. This is such a weird fucking conversation. Dude wants to sit here and flex how he, he researches about chaos. <laughs> he wants to be the Joker so bad, bro. <laughs> uh, uh, with how kind I've been, I feel she barely put efforts into her replies. Like she wants me to leave her alone. Oh, so, so you could determine that much. And you just decided not to leave her alone. Fix yourself, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like she wants me to leave her alone, but I'm going to continue. What the hell? What's wrong with you? <laughs> it's not like this is boring small talk. I'm providing a lot of content to respond to. <laughs> Uh, all right, I'll tell you what. You just uh, tell me how you want me to respond, and I'll copy and paste that back to you, okay? <laughs> Is that more in line with what you're looking for as far as a relationship goes? Yes, it is. I I'm not even going to wait for you to answer. That's exactly what you're looking for. Yeah, her replies aren't matching an effort with such little to respond to. And now she ignores my message? I want to confront her about this. Would I be the asshole if I do? Bro, you would be the laughing stock if you do. <laughs> I hope that you do. So she can continue not responding. And I know you'll just fly off the handle. Completely off the deep end. He's like, I can't believe this bullshit. <laughs> Uh, is this the chaos? Is this the entropy that you were so interested in? Why don't you turn this into a, a research study? <laughs> How about that? <laughs> uh, dude really couldn't take a hint. I mean, he took the hint. He just decided not to act on it. He's like, maybe if I could be more interesting, she'll decide that I don't have to leave her alone. Well, you dropped the ball. You're not interesting. You're just fucking weird. <laughs> you weird, buddy. You're weird. <laughs> I don't even know what the hell this conversation was. Although we do see it uh, a relatively high amount with this incel nice guy neckbeard content. Dudes that are trying so hard to be interesting or intelligent that they just completely fail at it. They can't make even a single cogent point and, and somehow <laughs> he expects her to come up with a response to that. I couldn't even come up with a response to that aside from like, you're weird. Leave me alone. <laughs> uh, Jesus Christ. So bad, so mad, so bald, so mauled. <laughs> and we gotta move on. <laughs> 
Whoa! No, this guy doesn't get the John Travolta voice. <laughs> uh, uh, whoa! Uh, maybe party demon voice? Yeah, that's what we're going to do. And OP just says, Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Oval face, my most unpopular opinion is most girls can't suck dick right. Whoa, bro, it literally is party demon. Like, yeah, you blew me, but I want to see some more effort next time because I'm the party demon. Whoa. <laughs> It's actually what we're going to be doing tomorrow. Look forward to some more Velveeta beard tomorrow or or don't. I don't necessarily look forward to it, but it is an interesting arc <laughs> to watch Party Demon redeem himself and then and then throw it all away. We'll just have to see how that goes. And OP really, again, doesn't have a response to what this dude is saying. I mean, who would? So she just says, interesting. <laughs> Most girls suck. They don't even know how to take care of a man. <laughs> Despite what y'all echo chamber to each other, most women are not capable of being mothers. So most men no longer respect you. Facts. Yeah, just true facts, bro. Can't suck dick, can't be a mother. <laughs> are those two things related? <laughs> uh, I don't know what's going on here. I'm already lost. I'm also pretty entertained by, uh, take care of a man. Yeah, men can't take care of themselves. I mean, this guy definitely can't. <laughs> uh, but women are there to be, to be a partner. Not your fucking mommy, okay? <laughs> Get your shit together, bro. This is absolutely ridiculous. And yes, this is the kind of content that I show up for. So good. <laughs> Let, let's delve deeper into the crap. Do you realize that I am a woman? Since you seem to hate women so much, maybe you should change your searching for to men. Well, bit of a, a swing and a miss by OP. She's like, you hate women, so you're gay now. Uh, okay. Trust me, men don't want this guy either, okay? <laughs> he deserves to be with nobody he needs to sit alone in a corner by himself until he realizes what it is that he's been doing wrong and by that i mean i guess sit in the corner by himself forever you're not a woman you have no man you think you're a woman because society tells you you are I have a list of requirements to even apply to be a woman. <laughs> oh, here he is. The arbiter of womanhood, everybody. Let's give him a round of applause. I I'm, I'm so honored to have you here. Yes, please hand me that list of requirements. We can check out everybody around us to make sure that they're really a woman. <laughs> Uh, I got a list of requirements, uh, to be a man, and already you have completely failed. You're not looking for, for a girlfriend, you're not looking for somebody to be partners with, you're looking for a mommy to take care of you and, and also blow you, which I guess, you know, factors in to take care of you, but only in the weirdest way possible. Imagine a dude like this walking around saying he has requirements, pretending that he has standards, come on, man. <laughs> Your bar is so low, it's fucking subterranean. <laughs> I don't know how he even thinks this is gonna work, <laughs> but I'm intrigued. I I'm 100% positive you don't meet even just five of these standards. Just because you have three holes doesn't mean you're a woman, dumb shit. <laughs> There's no women left in America, just females. I love women. Whoa. <laughs> he is definitely trying to neg her into a relationship. And fortunately, it seems like she has enough self-confidence to not even give half a shit about what this guy thinks. Nor should anyone. <laughs> Why would you even care what his opinion is on anything ever? I really want to know what the list is, though. <laughs> just just for the sake of, of the lulls. Please, tell me at least five of these standards uh, that OP has failed to meet. 
<laughs> I'm pretty sure I could pick every last one of them apart. But the truth is, he doesn't have a list. He's just trying to be an interesting fellow. He thinks by pushing her away hard enough that she's going to run to him. But, but that's not how it works. <laughs> Especially for women that have self-respect. Oh, what a trash fire. <laughs> You're so confused as to what I'm talking about? <laughs> Don't try to comprehend this rocket science. You really think this is rocket science, bro? <laughs> uh, you really think you're capable of engineering any type of rocket science? No. <laughs> Quite simply, no. Out here trying to, to make himself seem way bigger and more brainy than he is. Yeah, this list of requirements is rocket science. I bet you put that list of requirements in an Excel spreadsheet. I bet you put your glasses on when you, when you sort by in your spreadsheet. <laughs> You're just the biggest brain boy that the world's ever seen. Unfortunately, you know, you can't harness any of that. Still living in your mother's basement, I'm pretty sure. But it's not your fault, right? It's society that's rejected you, so you reject society in turn. <laughs> and OP says what we're all thinking. This is exhausting. What are your requirements to be a woman? <laughs> uh, that's my question. I really do want to know. I am morbidly curious. <laughs> the fact that you don't know them is sad. We as men know what women want. As men, we know what women want. Are you for real right now? Are you? You're just. You're just playing, right? You push her away and you say, "I know what you want, but I'm not gonna give it to you, you worthless bitch." And then she's like, "Oh, please, give it to me. I need it so bad," or something like that. <laughs> as a man. I 100% do not know what women want. I've known my wife for six years. I still, I, it's still a bit of a guessing game, okay? I just do the best that I can. <laughs> I think that's the most that uh, most dudes could say. Any guy out there that tells you that they know what women want, they lie. <laughs> what do you want? What do you want? It's not that simple. What it's do you want? One hundred percent. But OP plays along. She says, I agree, honestly. Enlighten me. <laughs> you don't even understand your world, dear. I will not tell you. You shall swim in the mud. Please, pity me. <laughs> yes, give me even one requirement. <laughs> Like I said, he doesn't have any requirements. He's not smart enough to make his incel excel, all right? <laughs> uh, God, this is so hilarious. I don't know how he went into this thing, like, so self-assured that it was gonna work. Nobody's fallen for this. Not even OP. She's just playing along in order to get the, the coveted list that doesn't exist. <laughs> you stinky rat! Swim in your own poop! Whoa! <laughs> uh, oh, swim in your own poop. <laughs> uh, that's funny. This is like a fourth grader that, that got on Tinder, right? I don't know what's happening here. I'm horrified. <laughs> <laughs> uh, stinky rat. That seems a little uncalled for, don't you think? <laughs> that was for humor. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> it's unfortunate that I did find it humorous, you know, but again, I've got a fourth grader sense of humor. <laughs> I'm not going to try and defend myself. It, it, it is science. It's just a fact. If you say dick or balls or poopy or, or coom, I'm, I'm contractually obligated to at least chuckle. <laughs> it's funny to me and I can't help it. OP says, oh yeah, because swim in your own poop is better. <laughs> How dare you talk back like that? 
See, he really wants to be an alpha. <laughs> He's like, don't talk back to me, woman. Whoa. I'm the party demon. Whoa. <laughs> uh, oh, forgive me. I'm just a dumb shit female. Remember? Female. Yeah. Now you're speaking his language. <laughs> You feel no desire to achieve the man of your dreams. <laughs> you are heartless. The man of my dream. Where is he? He's not in this conversation. I'm like, damn sure about that. <laughs> Obviously, she does want somebody. She's on a dating app, but you blew the whole thing up so goddamn fast that, that I'm shocked. Honestly, I don't know how you could fail this hard even if you were literally trying to. <laughs> He's like trying to paint himself as the man of her dreams and it's not working out. <laughs> uh, to say the very least. And OP says, how do you know what I desire? You are a female. Don't try and be smart with me, rat. <laughs> Uh, rat. Not like he watched Aladdin a couple too many times, right? Don't steal my apples, street rat! <laughs> Riff raff, street rat, I don't buy that. <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't pull out the line of every man knowing what every woman wants. But I guess that line doesn't hold up to too much scrutiny. You just drop it in there, hoping that it'll slip into her subconscious unnoticed. If you say it again, then she might actually think about it critically and realize that, wow, I've never met a man who actually knew what it is that I want. <laughs> Dude is out here just, just fronting to front and hoping that it'll work, and it's really not working out. It's sad to watch. The boy is floundering. Somebody save him from himself. Or don't. Watch him, watch him, what do he say? Sink in his poop? He's drowning in his own poop right now. <laughs> At least I'm not stinky anymore. <laughs> the female standards are clear for men. This is known by everyone, you muddy croak. Muddy croak? Is this broken English or what's going on here? <laughs> Uh, I'm still sticking with the theory of this being a four-year-old that got onto somebody's phone and just started swiping away, dropping, like, the, the weirdest insults possible. What is a muddy croak? I guess it's like a, a wet fart or something like that. <laughs> Maybe I'm reading too deep into it. <laughs> so weird. A deep, hoarse sound made from a frog or a crow. A female frog can pick out a mate's voice from a cacophony of croaks for your literature review. What? What? <laughs> what are you talking about? I don't understand. He, again, another dude trying to seem like a big brain boy by just saying the, the weirdest possible shit. <laughs> Talk about female frogs for your literature review, you, because I'm so much smarter than you are. Are you sure? You can't even form a coherent thought. You're jumping from point to point like a frog on a lily pad, right? Oh, it's on topic, because he, cause he's talking about frogs out of nowhere, apparently. <laughs> OP says, I love literature, or... Are females not allowed to love things? The only thing females are allowed to love is my dick. <laughs> uh, that's the line. Go ahead. Say it. <laughs> Have some balls and say it. Uh, your soft manipulation will not work here. I'm done. Whoa. <laughs> what does that even mean? So soon? <laughs> and, uh... He's the one that bailed. I guess this was like praying mantish-ish. Uh, we haven't been to that subreddit in a while. But yes, OP definitely baited this dude until his tiny brain couldn't possibly take any more. And he vacated himself from the conversation, which is beautiful. I love that. She had a thought. It's time for me to bail. Whoa. <laughs> Uh, good riddance, you, you muddy croak, you, you stinky rat. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> oh, he's still out there. So look out for this guy. If anybody starts throwing, like, non-sequitur insults at you, telling you about their literature review, then, uh, just be wary. <laughs> Although, yeah, this, this guy's pretty obvious in what he's trying to do. I think anybody with half a brain is gonna avoid this dude by, like, a country mile. <laughs> like most of these nice guys. Very obvious and, and very cringe. And I like that. <laughs> I like that a whole heck of a lot. I hope that you guys did too. And if you did, I hope that you like, comment, and or subscribe on the video. Whoa! Maybe share it around. That would be pretty nice. We've also got all sorts of links in the description. Plugs, playlist, podcast. You know what it is. We on Spotify, we on iTunes, uh, everywhere, Deezer, CastBox, uh, if you want to listen to podcasts, yeah, we're probably over there. We've also got social medias, that includes Twitter, Discord, Facebook, uh, Twitch, where I did mention that we are live streaming this right now! We've also got my Patreon and my channel members, whom I would like to thank Jerry, Jerry much, as I do every episode, uh, so thank you! Wired up, Ian Jerry, Darth Lutcher, Charlie Owen, Repent the Score, Robert Waits, Camille Sarah, Chance for Blue Kraken, Roxanne Wolf, Sim, Jerry, Conrad Inge, Captain Clown, Jerry, Hong Kong, Aaron Jerry, Esteban, for Old Lang Syne, Jerry Crusader, Jerry's Vote, or Game Steve, B Pound with Bag of Models from Downtown, well, Jerry, beg for forgiveness, no forgiveness here, Silo Rover, PCB, the original Jerry, Jerry, Destiny Piper, Jerry Shitsune, a very tired Jerry, feel that, a Justy Jargonian Jerry, and Frankenberry, ain't that hiding, bitch, <laughs> Aspen XL, uh, Assassin Punk Jerry, Aurora Wildheart, Baby Jerry, Bailey Joy, Bearded Jerry, Bitch Gremlin, Blip Blue Jerry, Catholic Jerry, Commander J Tank, Confederate Jew, Dennis Dane, Dr. Lux, Emergent Jewel, Aaron Air, Esparks, First Number Studios, Fire Drake, Gypsy, Hatry, BR, I'm Slim Jerry, I'm the real Jerry, Inquisitor Jerry, Irish Pirate, Make Port to find the Stowaway, but I had no way anger when I heard the frightful sheik of a beard, she, I don't know, Arabian Jam, a pimp named J Chris, J M Coon, Jerry Blacktail, Jerry Dowd, I'm on the truck, Hong Kong, John Hero, John Jerry, Jingleheimer Schmidt, hey, you're not gonna believe this, it's my fucking name too, <laughs> Kruy, Conley Kraken, Legit Baker, Miss Monday, Lord Jerry, like and subscribe, Milady Nix, Malama Man, Marvel says Reddit can't pronounce Naruto, Naruto, <laughs> Naruto, <laughs> Melgar Destroyer, Metal Fector, Needless King 89, Nightmare Jerry, Paragon Soul, Fate of the Fine, Jerry Kinsey, Jerry Beth, Queen's Way, Lucy Quagmire, Rose Jerry Miller, Serena the Lolita, Sassy Octopus, Scarlet Seven, Serena Moore, Sergeant Gaycock, Bring on the Law, Silo Wim, 70 Gunner, Sign After Boomstick, Brilliant Tomago Tapio, The Blue Tater Fair, The Italian Greyhound, Dino, The Little Sue, Oh, The One True Fusky, Train Boy, Woohoo, <laughs> Trying to find a bomb to get back to the real world, uh, you probably don't want to blow into that balloon, not, it's a stinky balloon, <laughs> B3 Prime, Vanguard Angel, Viking Jerry, Wiki Tack, Will Max, Stephanie Gargoyle, or Clay, uh, it's Jerry Time, Holds Red X Morpher, Self Reflection, Comrade Moody, Kira, Not Another Jerry, But he is though, Red Wind, <laughs> Not My Versace, Blessing Third Stuff, Venom Jerry, Jace Christensen, A Normal Jerry, Activate Transformation Belt, Hang Sheen, Tolman Rider, Beard Grease, I don't know what that is, but <laughs> it's a reference I don't understand, Admiral T-Tank, Amber Alder, Another Stupid Hipster, Atomic Jerry Zilla, Bartender Galea, Blueberry and Apple Pie, Pocus Pine Horseradish, But Greedy Jerry, such a nice girl, <laughs> Cake Jerry, the original different Jerry, yeah, California Jerry Girl, Shepard Seven Lock, Chikara the Panda, Koi does art, uh, sometimes, <laughs> Purple Emerald, Princess Furry Warrior Woo Jerry, Cryptidies, Stefan Jerry, Death to Tuna, Dopamine Dane Jerry, is Dwarfy Dude, Ghost of Alba, he cannot, Janitor Jerry, Jeffrey, Jeffrey, Jerry Alta Brivia, Jerry Tom Happy New Year's Wavy Apocalypse, Jerry Springer, the results are in, you are not the neckbeard, yay, yay, Jerry, <laughs> the sussy baka, uh, Jeffy's mom has got it going on, check out that mustache on Jerry Old Rivera, Jerry Roxers, Jerry Role Playing Game, Keaton Tales, Kid Marvelous, Kids Again, Life of Guardian, Little Woods, Lucia Lovecraft, Mama Machia, CD, maybe next time you'll forget Miss Duchess, not Invisible Angel, Raptor Art, she's my Jerry Pie, go check him out and do what a bit surprise, Skybar Ravenswood, Snarry, that's Nom Jerry, if you didn't know, <laughs> Snowman, what is best in life, to crush your neck beards, to put them feet to Jesus, to get a lamentation of their body pillows, <laughs> it's still my favorite one, uh, Spooky the Rogue, Spooky Scary Jerry Ton, Techno Dubs, the original Jerry, to Infinity Jerry and beyond, and Kale, I know why the movie's formerly the X Start, throws two in a Mountain Dew, grow my neck beard, grow, <laughs> it's Jerry Time, holds Red X Morpher, Hygiene, it's Jerry Time, holds Red X Morpher, Humility, <laughs> and thank you to my one dollar patrons as well, of course we'd also like to thank our YouTube channel members, buy two, get one hand, the Gypsy Barber, Bearded Snake, Death's Flagship, Samantha, a tiny boy, yeah she in there, Fire Drake, oh my god he's double dipping too, and Train Boy, who is also double dipping, my goodness, thank you of course to the Jerry's and not Jerry's alike, <laughs> making this channel go around, doing the most out here. If you can afford to support, that's great. Bless you. But if you can't, don't sweat it too hard, friends. I just appreciate you coming on through, hanging out with me, and I hope that you come on back and hang out with me again tomorrow. In order to do so, you need to keep yourself safe out there. Wash your hands. But also, take some time out and do something that you personally enjoyed today. Maybe like, uh, watch some more Red X videos. Come on. <laughs> Always remember, friends, that you are loved, you are worthy, and you definitely, definitely deserve it. I shall see you in the next one, and until then, friends, uh, bye bye